Alright guys, so I uh, got stopped by the Boston police. I was uh, literally just about to head out. Just got done visiting my friends. So uh, they look like they're like being kind of strict. So I just wanted to go live. Oh, they're being strict. As in uh, making you actually obey the traffic laws that keep us all safe and secure. Like having insurance, so just in case something happens, it can be covered. Is that what you mean by strict? Yeah. I actually have the Constitution in the window here, sir, and uh, American jurisprudence, the conflicts of law. You know, I'm actually an investigator with the National Action Task Force. Right. Yeah, uh, you administrate one of those sovereign citizen websites that, well, won't exactly help anybody out in a court of law, considering there's just so much misinformation on them. I don't know what so, that is or what that means, but yeah. you need to have a driver's license or some kind of registration on this car. Yeah. Um, I'm totally legit, sir. I don't believe you are, sir. Yeah. Where are you calling from? What state? I'm, I'm a traveler. So I what state were you traveling before this? I just drove from uh, s South Carolina. From Whoa, 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 dude. Hold up, hold up. You just forgot your own script. You just said you drove. You said, I know you said you traveled, but you also said you drove. Do you realize that in your own uh, soft, hard reality that uh, you just admitted you were driving in commerce and therefore you should have a driver's license according to your own logic anyway? Up to here? Yeah. Right. I'm visiting a friend here in Boston. Right. Well, so, you, have no red, you have nothing on you? No ID or anything like that? Yeah, yeah I do. This, sir, this is my private identification. You, I tried to hand it to you multiple times. Though, you know what I mean? No, sir, so I... you don't have a driver's license? At I've all, canceled no my contracts car. with the government. So, I, or no, you guys no longer have jurisdiction to, uh, you know, prosecute and tow my vehicle because it's no longer under your jurisdiction. I've canceled all my contracts. Uh, dude, I hate to break this to you, but, uh, having a driver's license, insurance, and registration is not voluntary. It's compulsory. You just can't co cancel a contract, or instead say you canceled a contract, and expect it to stick. It just doesn't work that way. Sir, I know the Constitution, okay? It Hey, you don't have to reach no, 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 sir, guys, just relax, well, okay? We're fine. I'm, I'm fine. We're relaxed. You, you're on, you're on Instagram Live. I have about fifty thousand followers, I and I don't cons. No, sir, I'm a, I'm a traveler. I understand. Can you step out for me? Sir, have I done anything wrong? No, well, we're trying to figure that out. But right now, you have no license. I don't know who you are, and your car's unregistered. Yeah, but that's not a, that's not a crime, sir. Well, so. I, 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 Sorry, dude. Uh, for somebody who claims that no, they know the Constitution, they sure as hell don't know it at all because the Tenth Amendment grants the states the right to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution. I've said this a thousand times, and I know you softards aren't going to listen to it, but it's a damn fact. Deal with it. At any rate... The Massachusetts does have laws about uh, driving without a license, and they do enforce it, and you have to have your vehicle registered. So s deal with that, too, you bloody moron. Okay, and since you are escalating, can you please get your sergeant out here? Sure. I want to speak to your... What? You think that uh, their superiors will know some secret that they don't? Let me tell you something. It's compulsory. You've got to have your license, registration, and everything like that. You just can't skirt the law. Thank you, sir. And uh, since you are going to physically remove me I'm from my vehicle, so uh, you know. have to take my notice because this is public public notice to your agency yeah. and it becomes incumbent and advantageous for you to read it because it's legally binding. From the moment I hand you this, it's legally binding. So take this, sir. I know you've been arrested several times before for all this BS, and you still haven't learned that none of this is legally binding, and yet you continue to try it on officers like this. I mean, some of these officers have begin, begun to acquire knowledge of what a sovereign citizen is, and it, that makes it that much harder for people like you to get by on this. So he's refusing to take my documents here. 
What's your name and your badge number, sir? What's your name, sir? Sir, what's your name? My name's Al. What's your badge number? Thank you, sir. Are you, you you're the conducting officer in this in this incident? Now I am. We'll call a supervisor. All right, here you go. Here's, Again, I don't need that. Sir. See, that's that's actually uh, it's actually uh, illegal for him to refuse a public notice. Citation needed. Uh, I don't think that you're right in this situation. So you've made this claim that it's illegal for him not to accept this document. So why don't you go ahead and provide the actual citation that for the case law that says that? Because otherwise, you're just pulling this out of your ass. It's actually reckless negligence because now if he violates my rights, he's liable for damages. And we will be filing damages for, uh, I'm just a traveler, man. I live, I live in my van, dog, and I'm, I'm just standing up for my rights in a world full of oppression. I, I turned on my interior lights and put down my windows so you guys, right, I'm just, yeah, we the people, man, you got, yeah, you've taken an oath to protect so, and defend uh, the Constitution, bro. You want to defend the drivers on the road who might be, because you don't have insurance or anything, Yeah, right? Yes, I do, so, sir. If you would take a minute, I, I have, I, I am legally bonded under a silver right. bond. Right. I am, no I am no indemnified. Okay. I am totally legal, okay? Right. I'm trying to explain to you, sir. You're just disregarding me because, listen, you have been hired to enforce public policy. Mm -hmm. I've canceled those contracts. I am now a private. So what do you do in the winter? Do you drive this car in the winter? Yeah, and yeah. You, you shovel the roads yourself? No, what, no, there's oh, no. You use the taxpayers' dollars and when you want to travel H in the winter. HJR right? 192, Public okay. Law 73-10. They did away with money in 1933, sir. Oh, okay. No, dude. Uh, that House resolution back in 1933 just suspended the gold standard. It didn't suspend any currency of the United States other than gold. In fact, here's this little. Uh, piece at the end of the resolution that I think you should read. So, uh, dude, uh, you should actually go back and read some of this BS so uh, you don't look like a complete and total ignoramus. Yeah. What would you buy this car with? Fiat currency, because it's the accepted method of exchange today. You freaking moron! You do realize that the Terms, money, and currency are pretty much interchangeable. You just destroyed your entire argument right there. Don't you even pay attention to what you're saying. So, you know, I'm just trying to explain to you, sir. You're not willing to I'm take my to document. Fiat Exchange, 1933. Yeah. Get away with money. You're traveling from South Carolina. Your name is yeah. Thomas. I'm hearing you, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm hearing you work for the NEA Action Trust, right? You got open container gasoline in your car, which is not really good. It's very dangerous. Oh, gee, open container of gasoline in your car. You're not a very bright one, are you, dude? That kind of thing will uh kind of remove you from the uh gene pool if you keep that up you know we're just concerned about you all right so Pre appreciate your concerns sir i'm not trying to i'm just standing up for my rights you I know you, you you don't have any rights if you don't stand for hey, them I, you know you, and see how you you just you you could easily violated me and if i would allow you to yeah. the general public just allows you to do that you actually broke the law by opening my door i did huh yeah oh yeah you did you're not you can't do that i didn't give you permission you need a constitutionally lawful warrant in order to touch my property you cannot deprive me of my property or without due process of law sir i understand so am I being detained right now? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's actually ten thousand dollars per incident. If you don't have a constitutionally lawful warrant signed by a magistrate judge in wet ink, you can't illegally detain me unless you have reasonable, articulate suspicion that I'm in the process of committing a crime. Well, dude, your RAS has been stated several times. Uh, you don't have a license. You don't have insurance. You don't have any of that other stuff. So you are in the process of committing a crime. You have committed a crime by not registering your vehicle, not having a license or insurance. That is what you are being detained for. And no amount of your fee schedule will get you out of this. In fact, it just makes you more of a laughing stock. 
or our probable cause. Do you have any of those, sir? Yeah. You you have reasonable articulate suspicion yeah. that I've committed a crime. Yes, I do. What what crime was committed? Driving without a license. That's a traffic infraction. Driving without a license. No, it's is not there, a criminal it, in the state, sir. You'd be arrested for it. No. Like I said, uh, we have a supervisor on our way. We're going to talk to him and find out. What's under the on, Constitution, right? those are these are so. victimless crimes, sir. Okay. That's why that's what the problem is in America. Okay. I'm standing against victimless I crimes. You're going to talk to supervisor. Okay, they're victimless crimes, whatever you say, but what happens if you are driving down the road without insurance and you end up hitting somebody and you don't have the insurance to uh, get the, to pay their hospital bills? That alone is a crime and you now have created a victim. So... These laws are there to help prevent the accumulation of victims, you complete imbecile. Yeah, sounds here, so good. Sounds good, there. brother. I, I think he should inform you about being recklessly sure. negligent sure and, not, and not accepting my documents sure. because like said, you're legally bound right now. The American national people, the creator, will... Uh, you know, they, they we have our whole legal. We have a we have a federal court so case filed. This is gonna be an Instagram, you said, or YouTube. Yeah, yeah. What is this on? This is on uh, uh, my Instagram channel, which is the gift of eternal life. Okay. And I I, I also post it on Facebook as well. Okay. So I have a large following. I educate officers, and I also educate the public on public and private law. Public and private law, a term that you softards generally like to throw out there to uh, muddy the waters when it comes to what the law actually says. It is very much a red herring to begin with. So, you know, and I'm, in, I'm a, one of the lead investigators with the National Action Task Force. Yeah. You, you can explain your Sounds good. Uh, I was trying to give him public notice of my private capacity. He's refused multiple times. You know, and, uh, you know, I just, I'm just educating, uh, I educate the officers and, and the public on public and private law. So I've canceled all my government contracts. I'm now living in the private. This is my private conveyance. I've canceled my license. I no longer contract with the government. Okay, and I have the Constitution right here. You guys took in an oath to protect and defend my constitutional right to privacy. You guys cannot force me to contract with government agencies. You know, and I cancel my license. You guys have a license? Black's law definition of driving is to be... And there he goes, using the outdated definition of uh, driving. It has been stated on my channel and several other channels that that word employed has a different meaning than what you actually think it does, you freaking moron. It means how do you employ your time? How do you use your time? And, and, you, and you canceled it? So you canceled it from yeah, the state? Minnesota. So here's official notice to your agency. You must take this, sir. Because it becomes legally binding once you, and if you refuse it, it's ne reckless negligence because it informs you about my rights. And if you violate them, my, my nation's embassy is in California. And uh, here's our international 35 page notice, which is registered and with the, with the Secretary of State's office in Washington, D.C. and in Singapore. Here's my private identification, which is copyrighted. And I'm 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 legally indemnified through our silver bond, which is my my legally. Yeah, I've canceled, canceled all my contracts. I've canceled all my contracts. I'm no longer in your. You did have one though. Did you pass that on that ID, please. 2018. Yeah, and it, well, this goes with it. So this is legal notice that goes with my ID. Legal notice in order this, to this, all. This is an ID yeah. which is what. My American what national that? identification. This is for your agency as well, sir. You guys must take this notice. And, um, and See, they're refusing again, guys. I have like 50,000 followers that are watching me as well. So, Dude, if you're going to learn how to argue your facts or anything like that, please try to avoid ad populum fallacies because they just continue to make you look like a complete ignoramus. It doesn't matter how many followers you have if your facts are correct or not correct they will show up in the results i'm just informing you guys because you know if you don't ha you don't have any rights if you don't stand for them in a world full of oppression right now they're they're taking all of our rights from us i i just canceled all my contracts and i put put my hand in god's hand and was like god take my hand because you know, what, what's going to happen if we just let you guys to keep plowing us like this? It's going to be, you know what I'm saying? So 
people are watching look at all the love i'm getting hallelujah guys no, i appreciate that yeah yeah no i follow me on instagram i got quite a few i travel all over and i get pulled over all thomas, the time thomas the second life what was it again the uh the gift of eternal, gift life. Of eternal life yeah on on instagram so that's the idea that, that you have right there the gift of eternal life that's what that no means. no that's my my private identification yeah thomas, Henry, thomas right? humphrey, humphrey. yeah so when we run you in Minnesota, you're going to have a Minnesota license? No, nope, it's all canceled. I'm not even, they say they're not even finding me in the computer. When was the last time you said, you mentioned you get pulled over quite a bit. When was the last time you get pulled over? Oh, uh, it's been a while, actually. You know, you guys are the first ones, but, um, I mean, I've been pulled over, like, that's, like, why I'm so popular, because uh, they pull me over all the time. And I, you know what I'm saying? Some, this, he's, like, not even trying to hear what I have to say, but a lot of people, a lot of officers are interested. They know I'm, I'm not just talking out the side of my mouth. We have a job to do. Right, right. You guys, you guys are hired to uphold public policy, which they're they're value, they're, they're actually liable. You know what I'm saying? When you contract, but I've sent in notice. I've sent in all the documentation con canceling my contracts due to the lack of full disclosure on their end. Is my right to travel freely and un unencumbered and unfettered as a, on the common way of mankind during this time? That's court. That's Supreme Court justice who ruled since the 1800s if it's the common way of travel during your time it's a god-given unalienable right no no government agency can restrict your freedom to travel well now here's the problem with the argument that you have yes everybody has the right to travel but it is the method of travel that is the issue here you see you are trying to drive an automobile, a vehicle with uh, a motor in it, on the public highways. And states do have laws that govern that. And if you don't obey the laws in those states, you will pay the penalty. And uh, guess what? The Tenth Amendment allows for this to happen because the Tenth Amendment says that the states do have rights to create laws that are covered in the Constitution. Now, with that being said, you talk about all the Supreme Court uh, hearings, but yet you don't provide any of the court cases to the, as an example of what you're talking about. So therefore, you are most likely talking out of your ass again. Please provide citations. Minnesota, that was the last place you yeah. Yeah, you're living out of your car now? Yeah, yeah, I've been living on my car since, since COVID yeah, and, hitting all that. Yeah, sorry to hear that. Yeah, so. In terms of uh, Massachusetts, when was the last time you pulled over Massachusetts? Never, I'm just, I'm just visiting a friend here. I've been here for like five days. Um, no, I'm, yeah, I drove from South Carolina. She also said everything he said. Yeah, yeah, you were heard, listening. Heard everything. Yeah, so, uh, but yeah, I'm just we just had a flag raising ceremony for our, for the twelve tribes of Israel, for the United Nations of Israel, and in, uh, in uh, South Carolina there. So that's where I was coming from. We're raising, we raised our flags in the dedication to the Most High. Friends in, this, in, uh, in Cambridge. Yep. Friends. Yep. Costly. A friend. Right? Yeah. Well, we're, he's right down the street from here. Right, so. so. We're looking, at, we're looking to see uh, if you still have a license in Minnesota. And how about the vehicle itself? The vehicle yeah, this itself? is mine. I purchased the vehicle. Well, it's my private property. All right. and you, you know, you're not going to show us the VIN? You're not gonna no, it's my. I mean, you got, no, on. it's my. Uh, yeah, it's my right to privacy because everything in your system is all registered and it's all part of the agency. Yep, took off the sticker. Because, yeah, because, dude, it's my right to privacy. If you got, you guys have to legally violate my rights and you're going to do it on a live stream. And I'm telling you, it's on page three in our documentation, minimum penalties for trespassing upon American national rights are inherent nat natural rights, unwarranted pedestrian stops. $10,000 each incident, $5,000 for every five minutes illegally detained. Okay. So if detained in handcuffs, it's $100,000 per incident, $10,000 for every five minutes detained after. A signed warrant must be present for an arrest to take place or a criminal act with an injured party. You guys must have reasonable articulate suspicion that I'm committing a crime or probable cause in order to illegally detain me. Well, now, if that fee schedule had actually any merit and actually worked, you wouldn't be living out of your car right now. You would be living in a damn mansion. But seeing as hell uh, it doesn't, well, we can obviously see the results. So, you know, and we have a federal court case filed, which 
it, it, in case of one of your agents violate my rights, we're able to file claims against your legal li liability bond. So, I mean, you're welcome to violate my rights if you want to, but I mean. And tonight you're telling us that the car's unregistered, it's uninsured, and, uh, and you have no, no license. No, no, sir, it is insured. I'm I'm trying to hand you my documents, okay? And you're you're refusing to take them? So, so we, we have to verify it through our. We have yep. to verify it. We have, that's so, we this is it. official notice to what, what police department are you? Cambridge? Cambridge. All right, this is official notice to the Cambridge Police Department of my private capacity. Thank you. You've taken it. It becomes legally binding and it is advantageous so for you to read that. Copy? Yep, that's yours, sir. I have multiple copies. So it's advantageous for you to read that. What about your vehicle? Is your vehicle insured? Yes, that's my insurance. Right I'm, I'm uh, bonded underneath our nation's silver bond and, and it's for liability. The American National People of the Creator. In other words, it is completely worthless if you believe i violated any laws or rights you have so to it's contact not, so it's not registered the vehicle's not registered anywhere in the it's state? in my it's in a private trust so it's not registered okay. no it's not no not registered sir tom is that your name since you were born or did you yes name? yes my What's name, name is thomas kind of edward humphrey yeah what middle school high school that name? yes okay i'm not i've canceled all my contracts well, there's usually a record still that's yeah you know, when, when you there's no such thing as uh can't just expunge your record from a, a driver's license or anything else. So right now you're unregistered, you're uninsured. I am. And you're unlicensed. I've canceled all my contracts. It's a, it's a black, Black's Law definition of driving is to be engaged in commerce on public roads. I am not. No, it doesn't say that, and you know it doesn't say that. So you need to quit lying your ass off once again. I, I'm not a commercial driver. I'm a traveler, sir. Wow, guys, I, I live in here, man. This with, is with, with all due respect, I mean, we're, 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 we're treating you respectfully, and, and like you said, fines and penalties and everything's in there. So. What's that? We're, we're treating you with all due respect and, and, and whatnot, but step up. Please. So, what are you guys tow my vehicle? Talk to you about it. Step up. All right. See, sometimes it does. It just you know they won't listen to you, but they've been put on notice though. So. We appreciate. Why am I being on put under arrest though? Because you are driving unlicensed, sir. You're driving an unlicensed vehicle. You're driving an uninsured vehicle. Okay. Do you have anything in your pocket? Is it going to poke your stick with No, sir. Okay. Do me a favor, walk back here and find my car. Can, can you fix this? Hand? Oh, it's like stuck. Is there anything in the vehicle? No, sir. Would you like, would you like a phone? Would you like a phone? Yes, please. please. And I need my manila envelope. With all these big, all these Yeah. And the phone? What else would you like to pick? Um, uh, uh, that that the phone, charger. And... And, well, there you have it, folks. This guy tried every soft hard argument in the book, everything, including Black's Law Dictionary, and it still didn't work out for him because, you know what, it never works out. Not legitimately, anyway. There's no way you can have a, uh... A mysterious trust out there that allows you to get away with anything you want. I mean, that is just insanely stupid. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.